So I think I have a problem. If the event, any event that I am trying to go home to visit, let's just say my mother, um, the trip is about 237 miles. The dilemma that I'm having is it's telling me to charge up in Columbus, Georgia to make it where I'm going to make it. The next step it's telling me is I'll make it to my destination with 10% of battery charge remaining. I'm not understanding. Did I buy the wrong vehicle? Because I'm in a rural area, things like this is where I'm struggling at. Yes. So I would assume that the mileage from where it's telling me to stop at and charge for 17 minutes possibly, I would need a longer charge there just so I can make it back from home and back to there. I don't know. This is this is interesting. This comes with my math skills because it's 237 miles from where I'm at to where I would be going is 104, the first stop. From the 104 to 237, that's a difference of 120, 133 miles. So I need to make sure when I get there, I at least have 133 miles of range to get my back there to get charged to get back home. There needs to be more charging infrastructures. This is disturbing. However, it is a charge point. It's not an Electrify America. It is a charge point. Sorry, I'm looking rough. It is a charge point, but... This is concerning because my next trip that I have to do is, well, I don't have to go home yet, but my trip to Orlando at the end of February, the weekend, um, I possibly wanted to drive my vehicle, which I'm sure going down to Orlando, taking, what is that, 75 down, I'm sure there's plenty of charging stations, so I'm sure I don't have to worry about that, but let's see. So as we see, Orlando is 437 miles away. Again, a full charge for me roughly says Mercedes-Benz site, maybe somewhere like 259 miles. So where is it going to tell me? Please proceed to the highlighted route. To stop. I see a route optimization right here. So it is picking up charging stations along the way to let me know. I will say this here. When you have an The EV, route includes toll roads. When you have an EV, I will say this, that, um... Charging stations have been added to your route. When you have an Please e proceed to the highlighted route. When you have an EV, EVs are, um... You have to take more time with them. It is also saying, when I get to where I'm going, I'm going to have 17% of charge. So let's see where the charging stations are. The route includes carpool lanes. Please check okay. access restrictions. Okay, gotcha. Let's, let's turn this down. So the first charge it wants me to take is in Fort Valley, which is a Mercedes-Benz charging station. I've never been there. I'd be curious to know how that one looked. Um, very interested to see that one. So that's the first one. The next one, it wants me to go all the way up to 94% because it's an Electrify America in Valdosta, Georgia. It says when I get there, I'll be at 23%. That one has to take me for a minute because it says the next one I get to is Electrify America. I'm assuming that's Claremont, Florida, um, which is telling me I will be at 
10% when I get there. This trip is so long with an electric car. It's long. So you actually need to leave much earlier if you're trying to get somewhere and go somewhere and be somewhere at a specific time because, again, charging cars is a little bit different than getting fuel. However, it's telling me, like, if I were to leave right now, that I would get there at 628 p.m. in Orlando with 17% state of charge. This one here, I would not, I'm sorry. This one here, I would not go just to 25% just to get from there to there. I would take it a little bit further and go and get more percentage. That way, when I get there, I'd not at 17%. However, as you can see, the chronicles of having an electric EV car. I do like the infotainment system and how it tells you and puts in the charging stations. But, like I said, my biggest question is visiting my mother. How the hell do I get home and get back without range anxiety? That's the big question here. Now, I do know in the town where it is that they're putting up four new chargers. Now, I'm doing my best to be patient and wait. Now, I do know around the town there is a charger, that, but it's a, I believe it's a little bit of a slow charger. So, in the event that I have to, I could go there, but this is going to mean... This is not a day trip. I'm going to have to stay overnight just to make it out of there, I think, which is fine with me. I don't know. Get down there as much as I should. So, like I said, this is very interesting. My Orlando trip, I'm sure it'll be like in Davenport or somewhere. So, it's somewhere near. So, I will utilize... Um, You know, that destination upon leaving, um, there won't be probably any really toll roads, really. Um, but I'm definitely going to have to maneuver my way around with this. Because I do like Apple CarPlay as well. And sometimes Apple CarPlay... Apple CarPlay is not going to tell me where I need to charge at because it's not... In in the interface in this. It's wireless, but it doesn't tell me like this Google does. So, yeah, a lot, a lot. This is a lot. Maybe I need to avoid toll roads and see what it does. So, I went in and changed my route to avoid toll roads. Obviously, you see it made the route a little bit longer. stations have been added to your route. The route includes carpool lanes. Please check access restrictions. So now it says, again, still go to the Fort Valley, the Mercedes-Benz charging one, which usually that's free for me. It's now telling me, I know you lying. Okay. It's telling me Lake City, um, go Lake City and get a charge there. It's also telling me to go to Daytona Beach. I am not going to Daytona Beach to go to Orlando. I would just cut off in Wildwood and go across. Like, there's no way in hell I'm going to Lake City when I can cut across. Now, the question would be is, is there charging points between that area, which I'll have to find those cities and go and look in those cities, where I cut off in Wildwood and go around the backside. I'm not going to Daytona Beach. This trip is not about to be 500 miles when it's really only about 430, 420 maybe. Somewhere in that area. So, yeah. No Daytona Beach. Sorry. Not happening here. 